It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen Maria. I'd like to welcome you once again to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. So tonight we're going to be talking about something that's near to dear to everybody's heart that's watching us right now. We're going to talk about human hormones, both male and female hormones, and how they impact you right now and even generations to come because if you're not feeling at 100%, it can affect your friends and your families and your neighbors. And I know in our society today, there are so many reasons that we have hormonal imbalance, whether it be stress, whether it be a toxic environment, poor choices of food, and a variety of issues that may impair your body's ability to communicate. So, you know, your body communicates via the nervous system, and it communicates also with hormones. So, Dr. Anthony, um, what kind of insight can you have here when it comes to human hormones? Well, you know, hormones are really important, and the health of each sex is also important. And it's been really, really cool to be a part of our practice because we see so many different age groups and different things going on with different individuals and coming up with personalized plans of action based on what's going on with a particular person based on their goals. But one of the things that Dr. Bob has done over the course of his nearly 40 years of experience with chiropractic and natural health has categorized some of these things in books. So one of Dr. Bob's most popular books is Dr. Bob's Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. He also wrote a book on Dr. Bob's Guide to Men's Health, The Basics. Now, some of this information is life-changing. I'll have so many people that said, you know what, I've been reading through this book and it is like right to me. It's speaking exactly what's going on with me and I've passed it around to all of my friends and my family members and I've gotten all these other books because they've been so, they've been so helpful for so many individuals. We want to get down to maybe why the reason Dr. Bob wrote these books and some of the helpful tips that are in there for our individuals that are watching this program today. So Dr. Bob, what was the reasoning for writing Dr. Bob's Guide to Balancing Female Hormones? You know, um, that's really a very good question. I've been um, married since 1976. And when my wife Debbie and I first got married, we were both 21 years old, and we didn't deal with all of the chemicals that we have today. And as life evolved over time, and we had children, including our oldest son, Dominic, who was very instrumental in our branding and our media exposure. Then, of course, we had Dr. Anthony. Debbie's body, my wife's body, just changed because of having children. Then as time evolved more, and I started really listening to our, our practice members come in, they started talking to me because they felt really comfortable and confident in our ability to help people get well. And what was going on over time is there was people coming in, they were sick, and they were literally sick and tired of getting the royal runaround because they always seemed to want to have procedures done to them. So I started listening to our female patients and I noticed patterns. And probably the number one pattern that I did see that also involved my wife Debbie was something called estrogen dominance. You can say, what the heck is that? Because that's what I said the first time I heard it, like, estrogen dominance? Like, what does that mean? That means literally all of us around the world are exposed to a, a hormone that's in the water we drink, the food we eat, and the air we breathe called an estrogen. And estrogen is a proliferation hormone. That means it causes cells to grow. And if they're not checked, it can lead to cancer. 95% of all breast cancers caused from too much estrogen. So I'm going to give you just a little secret here when it comes even to men's health, which we'll talk about in a moment. Estrogen is everywhere. And there's an organ in your body called the liver. This happens to be an oil filter. We use this oil filter as our visual, as our example of the liver in your body. Well, we're exposed to so many chemicals and toxins that this liver gets compromised and plugged up. It then pro it prohibits your body from processing the estrogen adequately, and then, bam, you have cancer or some other health problem. So, Dr. Anthony, the why is, 
is we're trying to drill down to find out what's causing people's health problems instead of treating and managing symptoms. And that's what we do at the Drugless Doctors. You know, the men's or the women's health book I know has been tremendous. We've seen so many ladies' lives be able to be transformed through drugless natural chiropractic care and making wise lifestyle changes. Now, another popular book that you have is Dr. Bob's Men's Health Book, The Basics. Now, being a man, I know that it's super important to take care of our bodies. And I know that we'll talk a little bit about this here momentarily, but I will tell you from personal experience, the younger you are, that you start working on your health properly, and I mean really doing healthy things, not just working out, your body's going to be so much happier and healthier later down the road. I have so many middle-aged men that will show up in the office, and they're telling me their sob story of what's going on with their body. It just is like detrimental that they didn't start taking care of themselves earlier. So. Dr. Bob, we talked about why you wrote the women's book. Why did you why did you decide to write the men's health, the basics book? Well, you know, that's also a very interesting question. Statistically, 40% of you watch me right now, you males, have not been to a health care provider in the last two to five years. And I can tell you why, because I have I had men tell me this all the time. You're afraid. You're afraid because if you go to talk to a health care provider they're gonna ask you to do some tests that you don't really like to have done. And you say, what does that mean, Dr. Bob? They might wanna stick something in your rectum, something down your throat, and literally do tests just to prove that you are either sick or not sick. And you're gonna say, well, isn't that wise to do that? You know, not necessarily. So I wanted to create a, a little pattern, a book, to give people, especially men, a road map and what I'm seeing now in the practice, and I know that Dr. Anthony and Dr. Kaysen uh, will uh, validate what I'm saying, male patients between 25 and 45 years old happen to be some of the most difficult people to treat. And the reason is, and I joke about this, and I know that if you're sitting on a couch right now next to your boyfriend, your fiance, your husband, it's like a machine comes over when a man is 25 years old and it goes to the man's skull it takes the brain out and puts it on the shelf. And then for the next 25 years or so, or 20 years, the brain sits there, and then all of a sudden, it drops back into the skull when the man's 45 years old, and this is what happens, because I had this happen to a friend of mine. What happened to me? And so over those 20 years, you eat with reckless abandon, you go golfing, you abuse your body, you eat everything that you want, and all of a sudden, you're 45 years old, and you're not healthy, you don't feel good, and you just kind of sit there and vegetate. I'll leave it you with this thought before we continue on. If you watch TV in America today, you see these uh, women with very soft voices with long brown hair telling you that half the men over 40 years old have something called low testosterone. Now, when I first started in the healthcare realm back in 1974, I noticed that people didn't have issues when it came to sex and romance, et cetera. I know, and I never thought that I'd be doing and hosting a co-hosting a TV program talking about less or low testosterone. It is epidemic. So Dr. Anthony, my goal was to give men the truth about what they need to do to get well and stay well. Okay, so the next book that we're gonna have a discussion about is Dr. Bob's Guide to Sex and Romance. Now this is maybe not quite what you would think about a sex and romance book. It's really a health book related to someone's sex and romantic life and their libido. Now, what would be the reasoning and purpose for writing a book on sex and romance if you've already had a book on men's health and women's health there, Dr. Bob? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting that you bring that up because people, they kind of look at me like sex and romance, like people don't ever want to talk about that part of their life. Well. One of the assessments that we have done in our practice for almost 40 years is a health assessment questionnaire. And on group seven, part D, one of the questions is lack of sexual desire. So when you have somebody that's constantly marking, and I just recently did a phone consultation. I do phone consultations, or we do Skype and FaceTime consultations with people all over the world. There happened to be a young man in his 20s that had reduced sexual desire. And you might think, how could a 26-year-old today's society have reduced sexual desire? Well, he did. And he did because there's something called adrenal stress, adrenal fatigue. The adrenal gland makes 
hormones to keep ligaments strong and helps you with your sexual desire and your testosterone and your estrogen, but a 26-year-old should not have low libido or no desire for intimacy. So as chiropractors, what we have learned is that the adrenal gland makes hormones to keep muscles and ligaments strong. But if you have your hand in a cookie jar and you're eating cookies and soda and ice cream and yada, 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 and you come into our office and you said, I hurt my back taking a shower and I was wiping myself off and my back went out, so my wife and I decided, you know what? I think we have a problem out here. And the problem is we need to write a book to address this situation. So the Sex and Romance book is almost like an advanced physiologic book on how to improve hormonal health. And my wife wrote the very best chapter in the whole book. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is because you really want to get the book. So that's the reason. So, you know, it's really interesting. We have a couple of books here. We have Dr. Bob's Guide to Balancing Female Hormones, Dr. Bob's Guide to Men's Health, The Basics, and Dr. Bob's Guide to Sex and Romance. You know, those are some great reads. I have a lot of people that will tell me I started reading this book and it really spoke to me because there's many people that they have a different opinion of what health is and we really want to drill down and create the right environment for health and healing inside someone's body. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform, it's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature. We're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition, go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Drugless Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. 
or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria. I'd like to welcome you once again to the continuation of The Drugless Doctor. We've been talking about human hormones, and it's an area that there is so much confusion. And you might say, well, what are chiropractors doing talking about hormones? And, you know, I happen to have a degree in natural health, but what we have learned is that what you put in and on your body affects the entire physiology of your body. So when you make the wise decision to come into our practice, we look at you as a, a puzzle. And what we attempt to do is put all the pieces of the puzzle back together again. And I believe something that occurs in our society today is there's so much frustration, because I know that you're frustrated, I know that you're confused, I know you read lots of magazines, and I know that you go to well-meaning health care providers that may want to automatically just put you on some kind of, of drug or medication. So the whole idea of what we try to do is get down to the cause. What is going on in your life? And probably the biggest challenge that I personally see with most people is this. You know what to do, but you don't want to do what you want to do because you like doing what you do. And you say, what does that mean? You want to lose weight, but you want to keep your hand in the cookie jar. Well, you're not going to probably lose weight if you eat cookies. It just... You know, it's not my rules. It's just the rules of life. Dr. Kaysen, what do you think about that? Now, when we were talking initially when we started our segment, and Dr. Anthony was asking you why you were doing the female hormone book, going back to the foundation of the whole entire body and the detoxification system, your liver has over 500 processes in the body. And we were talking about estrogen can compromise the body, whether it's the foods that you're eating, whether it's the water supply, whether you're drinking it or you're showering in it. But I know there's lots of different assessments, Dr. Bob, specifically that we can assess someone with estrogen. And what would that be? Well, you know, what's really unique about our practice is that we have access to some of the most innovative tools in the world. And we have been really fortunate to have opportunity to make these available to our practice members. So in our practice, we've done prior segments on breast thermography. And I'm going to tell you, uh, ladies, um, I, we're not telling you not to have a mammogram. And what we have noticed, because we've been doing breast thermography for some time right now, the thermography itself is a tool to evaluate breast health. And one of the ladies that came into our office was in her 40s. Her temperature on her breast indicated that she had estrogen dominance. So you might say, should I do a mammogram or should I have a thermography? Or I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a mammogram, that's really fine. But you may consider having a thermography because we had ladies that had mammograms done to them and it said you have no malignant cancer. And those same ladies came in with a pattern of breast, <coughs> excuse me, breast cysts, lymphatic congestion, and estrogen dominance. So to answer your question, one of the tests that you'd want to do is have a breast thermography. Now, you may say, well, I don't want anybody taking pictures of my breast. You know, that's okay. I understand. But we also can do a urine estrogen test. What does that mean? Well, your urine, we can evaluate the chemicals and the hormones that are in it. And this is so important because let's say we decide to do the breast thermography and we notice a pattern that suggests estrogen dominance. Let's say you have a family history of breast cancer. You would be very wise to do the urine estrogen test because there's two markers that we're looking for, estrogen number 16 and estrogen number 2. Estrogen 16 is considered the bad estrogen. It causes breast tissue to proliferate. 95% of all breast cancer is caused by too much estrogen. Estrogen number 2 is considered 
the good estrogen. So Dr. Kaysen, to answer your question, one of the tests that we would do would be the urine estrogen test. Now you brought up something that was so significant, and you have to understand, in our practice, we are scientists. We write research articles that are in peer-reviewed journals. Dr. Anthony and Kaysen and myself, we literally speak all over the United States on the information that we've been blessed to learn. I'm gonna share a little secret with you right now. This is your liver. We are seeing an epidemic of fatty livers in our practice. And we determine that because we have advanced x-ray technology through digital radiographs. So we are seeing an enlarged livers, and it's commonly after ladies have two children, their livers are enlarged. And if their breasts are tender and you go to your healthcare provider, we need to create a pattern, a plan to help reduce the size of your liver. And Dr. Anthony will tell you, and Dr. Kaysen, and we do pre and post films in our office, we always see livers improve as long as people follow the plan. So if you come in and have a breast demography, which I'd encourage every lady to do, if it shows estrogen dominance, you're gonna to wanna to have a urine estrogen loading test done. And if you're already a practice member and you have a fatty liver, we have to reverse that process. So Dr. Kaysen, can you see that we are so blessed to take all this information and create a plan of wellness? This is not about taking your breast off, this is about figuring out what's going on. And there's something new that we just added in our wellness store is a homeopathic remedy to help improve lymphatic drainage. And we are so fortunate to have access to all these world-class tools. Dr. Kaysen. It's amazing when all of these women are coming into our office and, and you can see the frustration and they have so many different assessments, but the missing link is it was never going to down into the cause of what's really causing it because Traditionally, if people are covering up all these symptoms, whether it's with medications or drugs or surgeries, it's never getting to the root cause. So if you hear what Dr. Bob was saying, going back to the liver, we want to get rid of this excess estrogen so your body can function optimally. And healing is always a process. The good news is it's all helpable with creating a strategy for you to get to the next level. Now, I know also, Dr. Bob, you were talking about a saliva test and the adrenal glands and going back to the sex and romance book and the men's health book and the low testosterone. How can we tie this all together to see if someone really is truly having an adrenal challenge? Well, you know, Dr. Kaysen, that is a wonderful question because once again, we have the tools to evaluate someone's saliva. And I want you to know, you know, I've been a drugless doctor before it was popular to be a drugless doctor. We've been doing saliva testing for the 40 years that I've been in practice. So we can check a female's saliva and tell them if they have too much estrogen in their body. But we're also seeing in our practices, this is so exciting just for me to share this information with you. We have more than one lady come into our office that has high testosterone. And if somebody has high testosterone, that may indicate they have a cyst on their ovary. We also in our practice have the ability through biocommunication testing through a galvanic skin response using electronic signatures which we created the program for, hello, we can evaluate someone that may have high testosterone electronically that validates what we see with saliva. So if you're a female and you have tender breasts, heavy menses, and or you're premenopausal or postmenopausal, and you wanna create a plan of wellness, we just don't go pow, 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 and start shooting in the air. We will determine exactly what your body needs without drugs, without the bad effects of medication. And if you're a man sitting on the couch next to your loved one right now, and your energy is low, and your testosterone is low, and you're passive, and you're losing muscle tone, and you're just not fun to be around, we can check you. For